Welcome, listeners, podcasters, travelers, and lovers of Rome, and especially if you want to learn something about the ancient history of Rome, its culture, its world, that still you can see around when you come to visit the city. In the last podcast, um, I shared with you something about the holes in the walls of the Colosseum and even uh, spoke something about the Colosseum itself, but I will make another podcast about that. If you have questions uh, or curiosities, just uh, write me and be in touch with me. Well, uh, today I want to uh, share with you about another hole in the city. And, uh, and this is uh, actually a, a keyhole. What is interesting about a keyhole? Uh, you know, maybe uh, could be uh, for a technician, a doorkeeper. But what about uh, someone that just is coming to Rome, come to visit, coming to learn things? And uh, why uh, spend some time to be even in line uh, to see a keyhole? Well, uh, this keyhole is uh, uh, the one of uh, a door that is in a very important palace on top of the Aventino Hill and is the palace named the Villa del Priorato di Malta or Magistral Villa. Well, what is all about. One thing that you will see is a flag, something similar to the Swiss flag, but nothing to do with that, even because the cross is different, although the background is likewise red. Um, well, let me say that if you get there in uh, Piazza dei Cavalieri di Malta, and uh, you are... Uh, Maybe it depends on the time of the year, but it could be that you will find yourself in line with other people waiting to see through the keyhole of that door. Um, why that? What happened? Uh, well, let me say first that you find yourself on top of the Aventino Hill one of the most important hill of ancient Rome, but still today, because uh, there is a great view over the Tiber River and the Tiberina Island uh, in into the river itself. Well, um, it was a, a, a very important stronghold, even in an uh, ancient city. It became a, a monastery, a Benedictine monastery, uh, in the medieval time and uh, later around the 11th century time of the Crusades the Templars became the owner of that palace and once in 1312 the order of the Templars uh, was extinguished uh, that palace became the property of the Knights Hospitallers, also known to the way, uh, today as the Order of Malta. That's why that flag. Well, um, there was a, 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 a radical remodeling of that palace, especially in the 18th century, by the work of the architect, uh, uh, Giovanni Battista Piranesi and uh, uh, one of the things that he had in mind uh, was to 
uh, design that door at the entrance of that palace where you will see the people in line waiting to see through the keyhole. And that because uh, through the keyhole today you have an amazing direct view over the dome of the Basilica of St. Peter. Something very, very uh, amazing. Uh, well, I have to say also that maybe if you just like to have the view, will be enough to go to the courtyard on a, on a side of the church of Sant'Alessio that is uh, right, right there, and, and you get anyway the view. But there is something very magical uh, that everything was designed that through the, the hole of that door. By looking through, you will see perfectly centered on the dome of the Basilica of St. Peter. Well, uh, you know, finding yourself over there who are the the knights of the order of, of Malta. Well, this uh, was a kind of monastic order, although they were not friars, ne neither monks, who took care of the pilgrims going to Jerusalem. In fact, the full name is Knights uh, Hospitallers uh, of Jerusalem, and then Rhodi, Rhodi Island, and then Malta. And uh, what happened was that this was uh, considered a must in the time of the Crusades to protect and taking care of the pilgrims going to Jerusalem. Uh, of course, Jerusalem, during those uh, wars against the Muslims also uh, taking place in, in the uh, Holy Lands, in the... Palestine, um, Jerusalem uh, was lost and then they moved to Rhodi Island for about two centuries and, uh, and, uh, and once they even uh, lost uh, Rhodi Island, moved to Malta and, uh, and so the, they got um, in about in the, almost the end of the 16th century they were granted of this uh, beautiful building on top of the Aventine uh, hill uh, with a great view over the city of Rome and as I already shared with you over the Basilica of St. Peter. And so it became uh, the headquarter uh, of the uh, Priori, the Grand Priori of, of Rome. And, uh, and so um, this one is one of the most interesting, probably, curiosity uh, about coming to Rome because many people think to, to go to, and visit the Colosseum, maybe uh, St. Peter Basilica, maybe if, if they have time, the catacombs uh, or other sites, but maybe they were leaving Rome and missing this. So that's why I share that with you. So enjoy your visit, enjoy your time, enjoy your view through the keyhole of the Priori of the Order of Malta.